the sugarcane harvest in western Cuba has changed little over the centuries, even with the addition of some aging combine harvesters. But after the revolution, factories that refine the sugar were nationalized, and so were distillers of perhaps the tastiest end product, rum. The drink is everywhere here, especially the government-produced brand Havana Club. But this rum is not the only one with that name, and you cannot buy it in America. Due to the blockade, it's not possible to, to be with a Cuban product in the United States. Sergio Valdez is the export director of a joint venture founded in 1993, when the Cuban state partnered with French firm Pernod Ricard to sell Cuban-produced Havana Club overseas. Was it a risk for a French drinks company to come to Cuba and work with the government? There was a risk because uh, they knew that the brand cannot be traded in the United States, a brand forbidden in the 40% of the total market. The French firm soon learned the embargo would not be the only barrier blocking their Cuban-made Havana Club from the US. Another rum, also called Havana Club, distilled in Puerto Rico, became available in American stores. That doesn't mean that people selling Havana Club in the United States has the legal register for the brand. The company currently selling the brand in the U.S. is Bacardi. Mike Dolan is the CEO. Do you make a profit currently from Havana Club in the U.S.? Well, it would be tiny, obviously. But even tiny profits create a powerful legal argument for Bacardi. Their sales of just 500 cases a year in only five states constitute an ongoing use of the Havana Club brand. And that use trumps any claims of brand ownership from Pernod Ricard or the Cuban government. This is a business where the competition is fierce. So I think it becomes a question of really defending what you own and have a right to. That right came from Congress, which backed Bacardi by passing a 1998 law that the World Trade Organization said violated America's treaty obligations. But as U.S.-Cuba rhetoric cools, the rum market may well heat up. Given the recent news on Cuba, I think everyone is looking at how that affects the big brands, and, uh, and, and we're looking at it too to say, you know, is now the right moment to do something more aggressively? Pernod Ricard told us if the embargo lifts but the trademark blockade remains, they'll simply start shipping their Cuban Havana Club under a different name. In the meantime, Bacardi's U.S. sales of the Havana Club remain barely profitable, but their real value may be in keeping a rival rum out of America's cocktails.